us since we started this uh, evening and pray that as you are praying as you are wishing us well god almighty will recompense you mightily in the mighty name of jesus as you pray for your leaders you are also praying for yourself so whatever you have said whatever you have wished us today i pray that double that will come back to you in the mighty name of jesus i don't know if you remember but today is our 11th day for those of us uh, that have not been very very some some people say ah so quick yes goes so quick this is our 11th day and today i want you to know that as we are getting close to that last day of this prayer and fasting you've got to be more careful and you've got to pray you go to ask for the awesome power of God to be present in your house as you pray so that even you, you will know that you are feeling the presence of God. You will know it. Nobody needs to tell you. You will know it. Today, I want us to look at one scripture, one or two scriptures before we pray. I want us to start from a scripture that we know very, very well. And that scripture is from the book of prophet Isaiah in chapter 49. Isaiah 49. I want to read three verses of Isaiah 49. And I want to start from verse 24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? That is a question. Or the captives of the righteous be delivered? That is another question. Two questions there. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the captives of the righteous be delivered. Now in verse 25. Hear what God is saying to somebody now. But thus says the Lord to me, to you, to everyone that believe and trust the word of God. Thus says the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible be delivered. Stop there for a minute. Captives of the mighty. No matter how big, how mighty that captor is, God is saying that whoever is a captive here tonight, no matter how big, how mighty the person that has put you in captivity is, he says that you shall be taken away from that person. You shall be taken away from that person. Your children shall be taken away from that person. Your grandchildren, they'll be taken away from that person. Your loved ones that you are praying, you are believing God for, they shall be taken away from that mighty person. And he says, he says, and the prey of the terrible. So what he's saying is, even if they have set a trap, and you have already fallen into that trap, 
as he prayed. What God is saying is that you will be delivered from that trap. You will be delivered from that hole. You will be delivered from that pit. Where the enemy thought you are going to end your life, God is saying to you that you are coming out of it. You will be delivered. Now, how will you be delivered? Continue reading. He says, For I will contend with him who contends with you. So, don't let anybody deceive you. There are contenders. There are contenders. God is speaking here to his children, to those that believe him, to those that trust him. So no matter how righteous you think you are, there are always contenders. But rejoice, be happy, because God has promised, look at it again, God has promised, he said, I, just leave it to me, I will contend with him who contends with you. So anyone that is contending with you, you just leave it with God, hand them over to God. You just hide, hide yourself in the shadow, the shadow of God. They can't touch you there. Because they cannot contend with your God. If they try, they are already a candidate for what? For failure and death. Look, he did not stop there. He says, and I will save your children. You see, God knows that many children can fall a prey to this person, to this wicked person. This wicked person can be in form of anything, can be in form of any any attitude, any 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 lifestyle, maybe alcoholism, maybe drug addiction, anything at all that any of your children have fallen prey to. God is assuring you here that don't just leave it. As long as you leave it with me, I will. I will save your children. Don't lose hope. Somebody, God is telling you, God is speaking to you directly now. Don't lose hope. Don't give up on that child. No matter if they have gone into drug addiction, if they have gone into alcoholism, if they are gone into any type of attitude that is making you sad, as long as you hand it over to God and you are praying about it, God says, don't worry, I will save your children. I will save your children. Verse 26. He says, I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh. Can you see? You want to eat your flesh? You want to eat the flesh of your children? They will eat, eat, eat their own flesh. By the time they realize it, they have already consumed all their own flesh. And they are already dead. And it says, they shall be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine. That means they will be drinking it. They will think they are drinking sweet wine. And it's their own blood that they are drinking. By the time they now realize it, they have drunk their, all the blood in their body. He says why? He says all flesh, all flesh, that means all human beings, everyone at all, will know that I, what does that mean? That God is saying to you that after this session, you are going to have a testimony. You will have a testimony. You will have a testimony. Don't lose up. He says, and all flesh, everybody will hear your testimony. They shall know that I, 
the Lord. That I'm your savior. That I'm your savior. They will know that it's not man that did it, but God. Because some people are in a situation where no man can do anything for them unless God intervenes. And he said, everybody will know that I, the Lord, I am your Savior and your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob, the mighty one of Jacob. Can you see that, please? This 11th day of this, our program, can you see what God is promising you now? Are you ready to actualize it and bring it in and take it in as your own? Or are you still thinking that, oh, nothing is going to happen? If you are thinking that nothing is going to happen, then you are in the wrong place. Because I have come to tell you that something is going to happen. Your story will change. No more with no no more in your life will you have any part of your story that we say i regret no more no more sorrow no more disappointment no more failure because god says he will do it so that everybody will know that he is the one that has done it so no matter what level you are now, no matter how they think, oh, nothing can change, nothing can happen, it's got to be like this, it's, you just have to be managing it, you will not manage any bad thing this year, 2021. You will not manage it. You will only be managing good things. In Psalm 27, verse 1, the Bible says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. You see your light, you see your salvation. You see your light, you see your salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. He says, Whom shall I fear? Who, 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 who is that person that is making you afraid? What is that situation? What is that thing that is appearing to you that is making you afraid? What is that thing that you are thinking about that is making you afraid? He says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Darkness will not overshadow you. Darkness will not take over your life. The light of God will take over your life. Will take over your family. The life of your children, your grandchildren. In the mighty name of Jesus. He says, the Lord is the strength of my life. Receive the strength of God today. Receive the strength of God today. All areas of your life, all departments of your life, receive the strength of God today. Receive it. He says, of whom shall I be afraid? Nobody can make you afraid again. You are a child of God. You have been praying. You have been seeking his face. Nobody, nobody can make you afraid again. He says, when the wicked, even my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fear. Your enemies, you see, they thought they can sneak on you to, 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 to do you harm. Look at the pronouncement of God now. He said they stumble and fear because of that tonight. I decree now into somebody's life who has come expectant, believing, and trusting. I decree into your life now that every power that is assigned to put you on a sick bed, that power I command it to fall down now in the name of Jesus. Wherever any power that have been assigned by any 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 anyone anyone to put you on a sick bed, I say that power now. I command that power by the command of heaven, backed up by heaven, that that power is falling down now, is falling down now, and is perishing, is dying, never to rise up again, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
If you are here and you have been born and you have been tied to any evil umbilical cord, I said that umbilical cord that you have been tied to, through which problems have been transferred into your life, I say right now, I command that umbilical cord to catch fire now in the name of Jesus. I command it to catch fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. I said that umbilical cord through which problem is being transmitted, through which sickness is being transmitted, through which failure, disappointment is being transmitted into your life. I command it catch fire now in the name of Jesus and be born to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil hand that have been laid. Somebody here, God says, they have laid evil hand upon you. But God says, I should tell you, that every evil hand that have been laid upon any organ in your body, that hand now, I command that hand to wither, to wither now. And to release you, to release you, to release you, never to tamper with your life again. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever hidden sickness that they have already put in your body, that is hiding in any part of your body, from the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet, and they don't know what it is. They don't know what it is. It is hiding and it is feasting in any part of your body. I said whatever it is, every hidden sickness in your body, I command them now to be uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus. No hiding place for them again. I said no hiding place for that sickness again in the mighty name of Jesus. From the crown of your head, I said from the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet, any organ of your body, any organ of your body, every hidden sickness, I said I command them now to be uprooted by fire. To be uprooted by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bind now and I cast out of your body every power of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. I bind them now and I cast them out now. Out of your family. Out of your life. In the name of Jesus, they will never be able to touch you again. They will eat their own flesh and they will drink their own blood. In the name of Jesus, that hidden sickness that is giving you headache, that is giving you headache, and the doctors, they don't know what is causing it. But you, you know that something is not right. You know that something is not right. I say right now, as you place your hand upon that head, Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. Receive your supernatural healing now. Receive a permanent healing now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I said every arrow that has been shot into your life, every arrow, every arrow of untimely death, every arrow of sickness, I command them now to jump out. Jump out. And return back. Return back to, to your shooter right now. Return back to your shooter right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go back to your shooter. There is no room for you. In that person's body now. There is no room for you. In that person's life now. No room for you. In that person's family now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go back. I release the blood of Jesus now. To wash away. The effect of every strange touch that you have ever received in your life, whether physical or whether in the dream. I said, I release now the blood of Jesus to wash away the effect of every strange touch and every evil transmission or problems that, you, that have been coming into your life. And I command that stream where that evil transmission is coming from, to dry up now, to dry up now, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
whatever satanic animal that anybody have programmed into your life. I said I command them now to come out now. To come out now. To come out now. Come out and die in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them to come out. Come out and die in the name of Jesus. Never will you see them again. Never will you see them again. Never will you see them again. Whatever satanic injection that they have injected into your blood, I command that, that injection now to be flushed out, to be pushed out of your blood now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. All those spiritual vultures that have been released, waiting and wishing for you to die, I command them now, in the order of David, to receive the stone of fire. To receive the stone of fire. To receive the stone of fire now and die in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every bondage of inherited sickness in your life, through your blood, through your bone, in your head, any part of your body, I command it now. I command that bondage to break now in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight is the night when bondages must break. I command that bondage now to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agenda, every agenda, every program of any spiritual feeder that they have assigned to be feeding you in your sleep, to be feeding you in your sleep, I command that assignment now, that agenda now, to be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, and every one of them that have been engaged in doing that to you, I said every one of them that have been engaged in doing that to you, that have been engaged in feeding you when you are sleeping, I command them now wherever they are to, to receive fire and die wherever they are. They are pot, they are cooker, whatever they are using to cook it now, I set it on fire. 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 And I command them now to start feeding themselves now. To start feeding themselves now with their own food and with their own drink. With their own food and with their own drink. You will never eat their food again. You will never drink their drink again. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And whatever food that you have eaten before today, before today, from the table of the devil. I command that food now. To come out of your body. To come out of your body. To come out of your body. And every power that is behind it. Every power that is behind your eating and drinking. In the dream. I command them now. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. Any disease in your body. As a result. Of any demonic feeding. I command them to disappear now. From the crown of your head. I said I command them to disappear now. Right down. It's going down now. I command them to disappear. Right to the sole of your feet. I command them now to disappear. Every effect. Every disease. In your body. As a result. Of whatever you are eating. I command them to disappear now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command that demonic eye. That satanic eye. That is monitoring your star. That is monitoring your progress. And the progress of your children. And your grandchildren. You see. I command it now. To receive total blindness. I said I command it to receive total blindness. They cannot stop you. They cannot stop you. I said they can no longer stop you. They can't stop your destiny. Your, your destiny must shine. I say your destiny must shine. They cannot stop you from making progress this year. Because this is your year. This is the year that God has said. That he will divinely restore you. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Amen. As you lift up your oil now. I decree now. 
into that oil in your hand. That is oil. Now, as you raise it up, this oil now, as you use it, you will receive full blessings from God. You will receive good health. You will receive wholeness. Through this oil, God will deliver you from evil. He will deliver you from evil. He will deliver your household from evil. He will preserve you. That oil now, as you use it, it will preserve you. It will preserve you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Through this oil, I said as you use it, healing, healing, healing will be your portion. Healing will be the portion of those that you, 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 you use it for. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said right from the crown of your head now to the very sole of your feet. As you use this oil, receive wholeness, receive good health. Receive good health in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of God, breathe into this oil that they are holding now. This oil that they are holding, Spirit of God, breathe into it. Breathe into it. Breathe into it. Take total control of it. Take total control of it. In Jesus' name. 